Thank you. Thanks, Hector. Jim, over to you. Uh, hi, Mark. How are you? Congratulations on Thank the new you. contract yesterday. Thanks very much. How are you? Grand. Only Lionel Messi and Jack Grealish stole your thunder yesterday. Well, what can I say? Two small names in the game. Who are they? Yeah. Uh, Mark, in terms of, you mentioned the management and get, going into your third season, but your right-hand man, there was an awful lot of interest in John this summer. Swansea were rumoured to be interested. How important was it to keep John on board as well? We talk about the new signings coming in, but the staff that are working around the manager is just as crucial as well. Absolutely, Jim. I've made very, you know, Strong, clear, strong and clear points about that is that the staff provide a support network that gives the players the best chance of performing at the level that is demanded of them by the club and the supporters. Uh, and John's played a key role. You know, John is uh, obviously a very strong playing career. He's got his qualifications, his pro license. He's a keen student of the game. He loves improving daily on his tactical, technical knowledge. And uh, he just wants to be better. And I have no doubts, Jim, I don't say this lightly, I have no doubts that he will go on to manage at the highest levels. I think he has outstanding qualities. Um, the timing wasn't quite right for John uh, to do anything other than focus on QPR. That was it. You know, uh, the, the timing is right for John to stay here and keep developing with the club. And I suppose, Mark, in terms of a 46-game season, it's a long season. I suppose yet last year was uh, clustered very much with the whole COVID scenario. And so probably a bit more time this year in terms of played out, in terms of spacing between games. I'm just sort of wondering, do you start to look at it, do you break it up into 10-game blocks in terms of a 46-game, 10 games reflect after 10 games, then see where we are, then next 10 games reflect again, or how no, do you start to process it? For no, for no explicable reason, Jim, I tend to do it in blocks of six. Okay. Um, so you have six blocks of six, takes you to 36, and into the last 10 games of the season. See where you are, and you, and you, you set targets from there. Um, you know, I'm looking to the board to my right here, and I'm seeing a sea of red fixtures, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday. So I'm not sure where these gaps that you referred to are going to come, Jim. I hope very much they appear somewhere in the calendar. But, but right now, it's um, through these international breaks, it's a tough, tough schedule. It really is. So, as I say, hopefully we're in, a, we're in a good position to tackle what is a really demanding programme. And I suppose, Mark, in terms of players coming back into the club as well, Connor Masterson is back in the club, I suppose. Connor uh, endured an awful lot of injuries. I know you're trying to look for a, a loan move uh, for Connor in terms of that. Is there any sort of, uh, is that coming to completion in terms of getting Connor more regular games? Yeah, there's interesting, Connor. Of course, there is. You know, he's done very well. Uh, he's shown his quality playing for us last season, championship level. And it's got to be, a, if Connor goes out on loan, if he does, it's got to be a right move for his development. Um, so, again, teams are well aware of Connor and, and the club, Les here and his, his agents, et cetera, will, will work on the right move if it materialises. But it has to be right, Jim. You know, you don't just send a player out where you nearly have to make sure it's part, of, uh, it'll, it'll be beneficial for his career development path. So, if that opportunity arises for Connor, then we'll take it. But if not, we're very happy to have him here. And Mark, is there a buzz of with Lyndon Dykes coming back to pre-season training after the Euros, after that sort of adventure with Scotland playing an inter international sort of tournament? Has he, have you given him a bit of time off in terms of recuperation after a long season? Did he come back later into the fold? Yeah, he came back later. He came back three weeks later. So he had that break after that, uh, that last game, I think, on the 22nd. Um, so now he's had his chance. He's recharged. He's trained well, Jim, and he, he's you know he's in the he's in the squad for tomorrow. So he's come back very hungry. You know he's he's tasted the international football um, at the highest level, and he he now wants more of that. And what he has to do, as every player has to do, is keep working hard. He knows that, but he's come back. He looks fit. He looks strong. I'm looking forward to seeing his progress. Hope for this season. And finally, for me, Mark, in terms of a, a first-team squad, in terms of the depth, in terms of the squad, are you happy with the sort of depth? Do you feel you have cover in most positions heading into the new season? And if I had to put, ask you what a number do you feel like in terms of carrying a, a first-team? Is it 20, 22 to 24 players? Do you feel that's needed to be a successful in the championship? I like the lower end of that number, Jim. I, I, like, I prefer around 22 in terms of I love of that that players can smell and taste the first team at every at every you know opportunity. I don't like it when a bus leaves on a Friday and you're leaving behind six, seven, eight players. You know, I was at a club when I went into one club where they had 35, 40 players. You you literally leave, you're literally leaving behind a whole squad of players, which is is very very hard to keep unity and team morale and togetherness. So for me, I like the lower number. Absolutely, I think we've got good players who can offer. You know, the most of the Bay who can play right or left. 
You've got players like Aussie who can play wing back or centre half. You know, you've got various players who can Ilias can play anywhere across the front. Chrissy Willett the same, George Thomas the same. We've got players who can offer that for us, and that flexibility allows a lower number that you mentioned, Jim. I think twenty-two is a, is an ideal number for me. Cheers, Mark. Best of luck against Melbourne. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Uh, Dave, over to you. Hi, Mark. One, Dave. Uh, Congratulations on the contract, being the first QPR manager for 17 years to get a new contract, which is quite something. Um, Thank you very much. I just uh, want, I just wondered about um, Stefan, Mark, wh where he is fitness-wise at the moment and whether you can involve him tomorrow. He's in a good place. Dave, he's come back. He's naturally fit anyway. He was working at Fulham while the um, transfer talks were going on. So he's come back in. And uh, you know, Steph's very impressive last year when he came in. He was impressive for many reasons, but in terms of his fitness, Dave, his availability, his robustness, uh, and he's showing exactly the same again. So Steph will be in the squad for tomorrow. OK. And just finally, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of talk about the, the, the optimism and various players that have progressed out. George Thomas seems to have been a little bit forgotten, maybe, in amongst all of that. Are you hopeful that maybe he might actually come through this season and, and might make a name for himself too? He's saying not forgotten by me, Dave, that's for sure. And by John and the staff here, you know, he obviously had a lot of involvement towards the end of last season. If you look at how we play in terms of Chris and Ilias, um, George is, is right there with them. You know, if you think of Middlesbrough away when we play all three of them, you know, they, he provides uh, energy, he provides quality, and he's got that lovely ability to run beyond defenders as well, as you saw Watford away in those type of games. So, no, no, he's not forgotten by us, Dave, far from it. You know, I've had a lot of inquiry. Would, we, would they let George out on loan? Absolutely not. He's got a big role to play for us this season. Okay. Cheers, Mark. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Dave. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Gaffer, if you're OK.